Good morning, Loretta Lynn here, and we are going to go live in a couple of minutes. So welcome to my studio, my messy studio. Okay, I'm gonna wait a few minutes for some, some of you to join. Thank you for being here. This practice is about 20 to 22 minutes long, depending on our, um, how flexible we are this morning. Now, I can't tell if, I can't tell if anyone's on. Um, if you're there, I won't be able to see any questions or anything, but please feel free to leave some positive comments, I hope. And um, if you have any questions, you can certainly um, private message me or leave me a message through Facebook. I appreciate that. And as I mentioned, I will be stopping periodically to take photos of the group. I have two cameras going here. Um, I almost was going to do three, but we're going to be live on Zoom and also on Facebook. So good morning. I hope we have empty stomachs right now. Not that this is going to be a hard or intense practice. So it's just now eight o'clock, so I will wait just a few more minutes. Go ahead and get uh, comfy, get your mat ready, or if you're watching from your office, that's great. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you for being here. I'm going to start in just another minute or so. So I get the um, butterflies to calm down. Okay, I hope you have water ready. We're hoping this will be a nice morning wake up without the caffeine for some of you who like caffeine. Nice gentle vinyasa. Get some energy going and maybe give you some focus and some energy as well as hope. So, okay. Good morning. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Loretta Lynn, and today we're going to be doing a, um, a morning wake up. And if you're wondering, I'm looking at two different cameras here, so it's not that I'm um, ignoring one of you or either of you. And I want to start with uh, some dis disclaimers, of course. Uh, I'm not a doctor, so please, if you have any injuries, uh, hopefully um, you will not participate or you can watch um, or you've already checked with your doctor. So if any of you have any um, uh, illnesses or heart, you know, any kind of health concerns that you will take it easy that you've already checked with your doctor. And that um, if you do at any time during this uh, practice, if you have any discomfort or pain, please feel free to stop. You can stop altogether or you can just take a, a break uh, coming into child's pose or easy pose or whatever's comfortable for you. I will be stopping uh, well uh, throughout while you are practicing. I may come off of the mat because I need to take a few photos, uh, a few pictures, uh, screenshots uh, from the Zoom. And um, let's see, oh, I'll also be uh, giving you some modifications throughout the practice. And that about does it. Let's see, we talked about the disclaimer, um, your modifications. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I would like to start with, um, I'd like to start usually with um, an alternate breathing. This is called Nadi Shadoma Pranayama. And I wanted to start with this one because you can't see me back there. In the, um, in the mornings, this is a great way to help clear the mind and the fog. Also helps release anxiety and it helps the brain focus. So this is uh, alternate nostril breathing. And it's not something you'll do throughout this whole practice. It's something you can practice anytime by itself too. So what you wanna do is um, curl two or three fingers down. We're going to gently 
hold or press one nostril in while we breathe in through the other nostril. And then as we hold this side, exhale through this, the right side. And then inhale through the right and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left and exhale through the right. Inhale and exhale. And that's one uh, method for breathing. As I mentioned, it's great for helping control and to help balance the brain because pranayama means breath control. And what we're doing is controlling the mind. And this helps to uh, control uh, emotions as well. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Come to the front of your mat. I'm going to try to st stand towards the center here so you can see me. But in Mountain Pose, go ahead and get grounded. Both feet about hip width apart and uh, the weight through all four corners. Maybe raise your toes up and then spread them out on your mat with your uh, head focused straight ahead, uh, your dristi. And we're just going to breathe normally. Maybe bringing the shoulders back a little bit, arms at your sides, crown lifted, and breathe. In and then exhale, slowly deepening the breath. Inhale, feeling it come all the way down to your diaphragm, filling up all four corners of your torso, and then exhaling through the mouth. A few more, and exhale. Next inhale, I want you to bend your knees, rise your arms straight up overhead into a salute. Bring your arms up by your ears if you're able. And then exhale, slowly rain it down into a forward bowl in Uttanasana. And that's okay if you don't reach the floor. We're flexible at all different times. Inhale, rise up, root to rise. Keeping it nice and grounded. Feel the energy through your feet. Slowly exhale, raining it down. Bringing your chest to your thighs. And then a next inhale, we're going to come up halfway lift. Half lift, flat back, extend the neck. Shoulders back, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, root to rise, all the way up. And if you have tight shoulders, now's a good time to maybe you pretend you have an imaginary beach ball overhead. And breathe. In, out, and then exhale, slowly rain it back down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, tailbone tucked down, and exhale, forward fold. We're going to plant the palms, step it back into a plank. Your wrist should be under your shoulders, hip with the elbow creases forward, and your toes back and uh, curl. If you have trouble with this one, you can always take a knee and some modifications. If you have a towel or blanket, you can always fold those out and put them under the knee if you need a little more cushion there. Um, also, uh, for your wrists, sometimes I use a little folded up towel to help elevate my wrist just a little to remind me to, to really claw in through the fingertips and not your, your wrist to help save on your carpal tunnel. Okay, so climb in through the fingertips for inhale. Inhale, as we exhale, we're gonna slowly with control, release it all the way down to the mat. And then on your next inhale, we're gonna come up into cobra. You can come into baby cobra, lifting with your, your core here, really starting to activate those muscles. Or you can come all the way up using your hands a little bit and your core and looking forward, finding a fixed point, fixed object out in front. Exhale, slowly come down to the mat. Next inhale, we're gonna come up into plank and then we're coming all the way back into downward facing dog. If your heels don't reach the ground, that's okay. You may have tight hamstrings, feel free to just walk it out. Breathing. Your Head should be down by your arms, your ears by the arms, and melting your chest towards your thighs, and we're breathing. And 
normally what I like to do is set an intention for uh, my practices. And that intention is something I usually take with me off the mat as well. So today we were talking about hope. So in hope means faith and trust. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. So go ahead and come uh, bring your right leg up into three-legged dog. And then exhale, bringing knee to nose and then stepping it forward into a, a runner's lunge. And again, here, if you need to take a knee, you may do so, or you can keep the back leg straight and lifted. Okay. And your next inhale, pivot the back foot and slowly rise up, bringing your arms up overhead into warrior one, really activating that core. And be sure your right knee is over the right ankle to help protect the knee. And take a breath here. Feeling a nice stretch in your quads and in your hip flexors. And then slowly exhale, bringing it back, your palms down to the mat. Right hand stays down. We're going to leave the, I'm sorry, left hand stays down. We're going to bring the right palm all the way up and out, reaching for the sky. And your, um, if you can, look up towards the sky as well. You're just Okay, slowly bring that palm back down to the ground, to your mat, step back into your plank. We're gonna come into um, lower, down to your belly, all the way to the mat. You can take your um, vinyasa here into either a cobra and then back up to downward facing dog or a chaturanga, which is a low plank, and then your baby cobra, and up into downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal it out. If you need to stretch those hamstrings and calves out. Breathing. Now the next inhale, ground the right foot, lifting the left leg straight up, toes pointed down. And exhale, bringing it knee to nose and then stretching it forward into your runner's lunge or high lunge. Left knee over left ankle. So we're grounding down, pivot on the back foot, and slowly raise your arms up into warrior one. Excellent. Okay. We are going to slowly rain it down, palms down on the mat, right hand down, left hand comes up this time, raising it towards the ceiling as you're following it with your dristi, with your eyes, and then slowly exhale, putting planting both palms on the mat, stepping back into your plank, and then coming into your, chatter, your vinyasa chaturanga, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. I'm going to Okay. Okay, well, while you're in downward facing dog, go ahead and walk it out. Um, let's see, now I can put it on the screen here. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so we're in downward facing dog. We're going to come, come down to, to, I'm sorry, we're going to bring the right leg up, uh, high, stretching into three-legged dog. Head should be between the um, arms and then bringing it forward and then back up. Extend, inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, the right leg all the way out, toes should be down. And then right, uh, exhale, knee to nose. And plant your both feet back down into downward facing dog. Whatever we do on the right side, we have to do on the left. So we're gonna take the left leg up, inhale, and exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend it straight out with your toes pointing towards the ground. And exhale, knee to nose. Okay, then plant both feet back on the ground. We're gonna come down into all fours to tabletop position. From here, okay. we are going to bring the, as we inhale, bring the right leg out parallel to the floor, toes pointed down, 
keeping your neck straight, hollow it out through your, your navel and your, your chest. You want to try to lift the heart up and bring navel to spine. Your wrists should be under your shoulders. And with that left, with the right leg out, we are going to, then we're gonna, on the next inhale, extend your left arm like you're shaking someone's hand, pinky down, thumb forward, and exhale, rotate the arm around to meet your right foot, grabbing your foot or your toe. We're going to gently stretch, feel that nice stretch in your quads and your hip flexor, really activating that muscle. Breathing, if you can hold it here, you're doing great. Breathe and exhale with control, come all the way back into tabletop position. One more side, we're gonna do inhale, extending the left leg out, toes pointed down. With the next inhale, right arm comes out as you're shaking someone's hand, pinky down. And then exhale, bring it all the way around, grabbing that foot. You can either grab the toe, the arch of the foot, and giving yourself a nice gentle stretch here. Just feeling the hip flexor open up, maybe feeling activation in the quads already. Nice little burn if you haven't stretched yet this morning. And then exhale, bringing it back down to the mat with control. Now we're going to bring your big toes together. Knees about as wide as the mat. And then bring your hips back. We're going to come into extended child's pose, bringing your tailbone down, extending your arms parallel on your mat. And if your head reaches the mat, go ahead and put your head down on the mat, your forehead down, and take a little cycle of breath here. And while we're taking a breath here, we're going to talk a little bit about hope that I mentioned earlier. Hope is an optimistic state of mind. And when we're thinking about hope, that brings with it faith and trust. When we hope for something, we're putting faith out there. So if you were to imagine, say, your muscles as hope, so how would that intertwine? How would that work? You're trusting in their muscles. You have hope. You have faith. You know that they're going to uh, subconsciously, you're telling your body to move and to explore and you're depending on those muscles to help get you through, whether you're hiking, uh, walking, or riding a bike. So just remember that hope is, a, um, is cherished and it's something that can grow and manifest and it's something that can be shared. So slowly we're going to come out of child's pose, come into your tabletop position and we're going to, to put your wrist under your shoulders, fingers spread wide. Remember to claw into the fingertips so you're not putting weight on your wrist. Your knees should be hip width apart, feet flat on the ground on your mat. If you're grounding in, and we're going to bring the right leg up on the inhale with a bending in the knee, flex the foot, and do little baby pulses here. Baby pulses. We're going to really activate the core. Maybe you'll feel it in the glutes here. Your drishti should be down. And your shoulders should be back, not up near the ears. Baby pulses. Excellent. Okay, and we're going to slowly release that right leg back down to the mat. And um, the next inhale, extend the left leg, bend it at the knee, flexing the foot. Go ahead and do some more baby pulses here. Okay, and now we're going to bring that left knee back down. We're going to come into tabletop or neutral position, keeping your back flat, your crown extended towards the front of the mat. Knees should be hip width apart and wrists under the shoulders. Here we're going to do some cat-cow variations. 
You're going to drop the belly, lifting the hips up towards the sky. As you inhale, the eyes can come forward, the head, and then exhale, chin to chest, rounding out the shoulders, a nice big stretch in the shoulders, carving out the stomach, navel to spine as you exhale. Inhale, carve in a line with your nose forward, elbow creases shining forward, and Feeling a nice stretch. Exhale, rounding it back out. Into cat. Inhale. Cow. And exhale. Cat. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Okay, the next inhale, go ahead and come to your neutral position. We're going to slowly come up to sitting position into fire log. Now, fire log is a um, nice, fun pose I like to do is with the left leg on the bottom, keep it extended. And you want to try to get your right ankle over your left knee and on the left side, your left ankle under the right knee here. So you kind of have a parallel line, and we're going to sit up nice and straight here. And as you can tell, I have really tight glutes and hamstrings. So you can also use a prop like a towel or a blanket or a block to help rest that on if you need that. Or a modifier for this would be a cow space where you can layer one leg on top of the other. And even still, if you can't do that, you can also put the right foot flat on the ground as we breathe in, in, out, in, out. And now is a great time to go ahead and give your, rest, your wrists a nice little massage, really exercising them, giving them a little uh, release from the, the tension you may have placed on them. There you go. And I, Awesome. Now, come on out of fire log or cow's face. We're going to switch legs, putting nice and gentle here. We're going to bring the right leg on the bottom and the left leg on top. Again, a nice big triangle here with the left ankle over the right knee and the right left knee over the right ankle. And again, you can also take the modification here into cow's face. And sitting up nice and straight. Breathing, and go ahead and stretch the neck, the right ear to the right shoulder, keeping that shoulder down. Inhale, exhale, head to center, and then as you inhale, left shoulder, left ear to left shoulder, and then back to center. Okay, now we're gonna come into Shavasana. We're gonna lie flat on your mat. Extending the legs out nice and long, as wide as your mat. Bringing your arms out to your sides. You can be at a 45 degree angle, or as I like to call it, Tennessee sweet tea, bringing them all the way out. As you relax down, letting the muscles and the bones fall into your mat, nice and soft. Or you can put one hand on the heart, and one hand on the belly. And just breathe, closing your eyes. You might want to draw the shoulders up a little bit under your heart space, under your chest, bringing your shoulders in. Call that angel wings. Great way to help lift the chest a little. And while you're breathing in Shavasana, I would like to read something. I hope you might find a little inspirational today. There is a quiet light that shines in every heart. It draws no attention to itself, though it is always secretly there. It is what illuminates our minds to see beauty, our desire to seek possibility, and our hearts to love life. Without this subtle quickening, our days would be empty and wearisome, and no horizon would ever awaken our longing. Our passion for life is quietly sustained from somewhere in us, that is wedded to the energy and excitement of life. This shy inner light is what enables us to recognize and receive our very presence here as blessing. We enter the world as strangers, 
who all at once become heirs to a harvest of memory, spirit, and dream that has long preceded us and will now enfold, nourish, and sustain us. The gift of the world is our first blessing. So I thought that might be inspirational and really give you a little more hope and encouragement both on and off the mat. So you can continue to lie in Shavasana here for a few minutes if you'd like, or very slowly come on up into easy pose, crisscross. Bring your palms together at the heart. And I wanna thank you all for being here today. Thank you for sharing this journey with me. Thank you for showing up for yourself. It's um, really about self-care. It's about the mind and the body, both on and off the mat. And really just um, giving something more for yourself as well. So thank you for sharing your valuable time. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you at future classes. Namaste.